burning the wrong bridges. I want none with Dick Grayson's killer. It was an accident. Learning a new fighting game can be a daunting task. With games in the genre getting more advanced, players are required to learn new mechanics as well as mastering the wide variety of characters these games have to offer. In this series of Pure Basics, we hope to provide a beginner's guide to the heroes and villains of Injustice 2. In this episode, we're going to be taking a look at the Temerian Princess, also known as Starfire. Her real name is Coriandar and was next in line to the Temerian throne, a planet far from Earth. However, she found herself the victim of her fratricidal sister. As a result of this plot against her, the results ended in her home planet being conquered. Now she lives as a royal exile on Earth. Whilst on Earth, she joins the Teen Titans as she utilizes her ability to absorb and convert ultraviolet energy into Starfire. Now, as always, Starfire comes with the standard moves found on other characters, such as Back Free, your War Bounce, as well as Forward Free, which is your overhead. She also comes with your basic jumps. However, her jump free is slightly different. You can either jump and then hold down and free to create a clockwise sweep, or you can hold up to do a anti-clockwise sweep. This can mix things up slightly. She also has her throw, done with one and three. And she also comes with an air dash, which is done by jumping and then pressing back back or forward forward. Air dashing can help close the gap on zoning opponents. But anyway, moving away from the basics and moving on to her special moves. Her first one is called Burning Desire, and it's done by pressing down back two. This will cause Starfire to swipe at her opponent with her fiery hair. This can be meter burned as well, and doing so will cause an overhead to follow up after the initial sweep. Her next special move is called Shooting Star, and that's done by pressing down back three. This launches her opponents into the air and follows them up with a few hits of Starfire. This can be meter burned, which will make the attack last longer. Her next special move is called Stardust, and this is done by pressing down back one. However, this is an ability that can be done at far, close, and medium ranges. So the standard one, down back one, is your medium range. Down back one and then back is your close range. Down back one, then forward is your far range. And then you have the option to do exceedingly far range by pressing up after pressing down back one. You can also meter burn Stardust by pressing meter burn after pressing down back one. This will cause Starfire to turn into a slow moving projectile orb. The great thing about this is it can launch opponents into the air. So this will be key in your longer combo strings. You can also combine your meter burn stardust with your trait, which is done by pressing four. This deals quite heavy damage and launches your opponent into the air. The next special move is Star Blast, and that is done by pressing down forward one. It's a standard projectile that is quite fast moving. You can meter burn this if you so desire by pressing down one meter burn, which will cause the projectile to fire multiple times. You can also perform this in the air if so desired, as well as the meter burn version. Her last special move is the Temerian Charge, which is done by pressing back forward two. A move that travels quite far distance, however, if an opponent should block it, it is really unsafe. So use this after you've hit confirmed with combos if you want to use it. You can also meter burn this ability, and doing so will make the move at least safe. To do this, you press back forward two, then meter burn. You can also perform this while airborne if you so wish. This applies to the meter burn version as well. Her trait or character power is called Star Bolt. To cast this, all you do is press four. It's a nice projectile that is fueled by your character power at the bottom near your meter burn meter. As well as simply pressing four, you can hold down four. This will cause the Star Bolt to last longer, dealing multiple hits. This comes in useful for finishing off combos or special moves. You can also meter burn Star Bolt if you so desire. Doing this will cause the multiple hits, but the last hit will cause your opponent to be knocked back, pretty much full screen. As well as dealing high damage, this can be good for if you're playing a zone-in game. But anyway, moving away to some of her basic combos. First is Bachelorvac, which is done by pressing forward two, then throw, or one and three. Nice combo if you want to switch places. Next is Break Your Grebnax, which is done by pressing two, one, three. Next is Clawbag Valbrenek, which is done by pressing two, three, two. The first part of this combo is key to setting up your longer strings, namely being the 2-3 and then you go into a special move. 
Her next basic combo is called Silly Zarnoff, which is done by pressing 113. Again, like the previous combo, this can be good at setting up your longest strings, especially if you use the first two hits. The next basic combo is called Stop Zork Morkin Claw Bag, which is done by pressing forward 2-2. Two -two. It's a nice mix-up move that has an overhead in it. And then finally, her last basic combo is Zao Rufa Derenfax, which is done by pressing back 1-2. This is a low hitting combo, and as she doesn't really have many, this can mix things up a little bit and confuse your opponent. But anyway, let's move on to talk about some of the longer combos that I like to use. A simple combo would be 1-1, one, one, back forward 2, then trait, meter burn. Most of the combos I like to start with jump 2. Afterwards, I follow that up with 2-3, and then meter burn stardust. Afterwards you press back free to wall bounce, then you jump free, then you can either press two two three or two three again, and then follow it up with shooting star. Afterwards you hold your trait down and meter burn it if you have some more meters to spare. You can change this slightly by adding different special moves if you so desire, like the Temerian charge. For some stronger combos, instead of pressing down back 2 or stardust meter burn, you could do a wall bounce meter burn cancel, which is done by pressing back back meter burn or down back meter burn during a combo. That combo I just did there was jump 2, 2-3, two, wall bounce cancel, so back back meter burn or down back meter burn, jump 3, 2-3 two, again, down back 3, 4, then meter burn. Now corner combos with Starfire can be a little bit tricky, they're not as plain or clear cut as when they come to mid screen. You can do similar combos to the mid screen combo, such as 2-3, Stardust meter burn, afterwards you do a forward 3 to do an overhead, then you do 2-3 again, then down back 3, then trait. An alternative would be to just do forward free, back two, two free, down back free, trait the meter burn. You can make it even stronger if you meter burn your forward free or overhead, and a combo utilizing this would be forward free meter burn, back two, one one free, down back two, trait the meter burn. Her super move is called Starry Knight, and it's done by pressing Stance Flip and Meter Burn. This is a low attack, so your opponent needs to be blocking low in order to avoid it. If you want to use it in a combo though, it will help land it easier. Now overall, I found Starfire quite a fun character to play. She has fairly simple strings when it comes to her combos, which allow for some good damage. On top of that, she's able to zone quite well through her abilities, but her greatest weakness is that she does lack mix-up in her combo strings. Most of her attacks are either of a high, low or medium attack and rarely does it mix them up. This though however is her only real major flaw. If you're able to master her combos as well as her zoning tools, she can be quite a powerful character. So I hope this guide has given you a better understanding of Starfire as well as helping you, these guides are also helping us in understanding the characters of Injustice 2. Of course there are more advanced guides out there and if you are interested in Starfire then I encourage you to go and check them out. Anyway, I hope this guide has helped and until next time, I've been Darblade bringing you another pure basics guide to Starfire in Injustice 2. Hope you enjoyed the video, thanks for watching, subscribe and like for more.